Welcome back to Instruments of the Orchestra with Miss Broderick. Today we're going to be talking about the brass. I'm here to talk about the percussion section. That's not until later. Nice glasses. The brass section of the orchestra includes the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba. What is a valve? A valve is a button on an instrument that can be pressed to change the length of the brass tube, which eventually changes the pitch of the instrument. A trumpet is a brass instrument with a cup-shaped mouthpiece and a metal tube with a bell-shaped end. It has three valves to change the pitch. A French horn is a brass instrument with a brass tube that is bent into a circle, a funnel-shaped mouthpiece, and a wide bell on the end. The modern French horn has valves that allow it to play a completely different chromatic scale. A trombone is a brass instrument with a cup mouthpiece and a long metal tube. A movable U-shaped slide changes the length of the tube, which changes the pitch of the instrument. The trombone does not have any valves. Finally, the tuba. The tuba is the largest and lowest brass instrument with a mouthpiece and a big bell-shaped opening to a tube that is wrapped around in an oval. Valves on the tube can be pressed to change the pitch of the instrument. Finally, it's time for the percussion section. Some of the instruments that are included in the percussion section are bongos, a snare drum, marimba, xylophone, bells, or maracas. Let's take a listen to some of them now. Let's start with the marimba. The marimba is a percussion instrument that consists of a set of tuned wooden bars arranged like a piano. A series of hollow tubes beneath the bars allows the sound to resonate. The bars are struck with mallets. The triangle is a percussion instrument made of a metal bar bent into the shape of a triangle with one corner open. It is held by a string and struck with a metal rod. The cymbals are a percussion instrument consisting of two round metal plates that create clashing sounds when struck together. A single cymbal can also be struck with a stick.
The snare drum is a small, double-sided drum with skin-like material pulled tight over the top and bottom. Metal wires called snares are stretched across the bottom and rattle when the drum is struck with a drumstick. The bass drum is the largest drum. It stands upright and is hit on the side. It is used in both orchestras and in marching bands. The timpani or kettle drum is the only drum that can be tuned to produce definite pitches. Its name comes from the large kettle-shaped bottom, over which the skin of the drum head is stretched. The player uses a pedal to tighten and loosen the drum head to change the pitch. The gong is a metal disc with a turned down rim that makes a loud booming sound when struck with a mallet. In East Asia, gongs continue to be symbols of mysticism and good fortune. Those used by Buddhists for sacred purposes were inscribed with the Mandarin symbols Tai Loi, symbolizing the arrival of happiness. There are 88 keys on a modern piano, each one being a different note. It was originally called the pianoforte because it could play both soft, or piano, and loud, or forte. Why is the piano in the percussion section? The percussion section is any instrument that is able to be played with a mallet. If you open a piano, you'll notice there are several mallets that are inside the piano hitting strings. So technically, it is a percussion instrument. Thanks so much for learning about the percussion and brass sections of the orchestra today. Have a great day!